happy August, August 1st. This is day 102. Yesterday, day 101, was a bit of a bear. And I got Bear Mountain coming up. Not today, that's going to be tomorrow. Uh, I'm at Lake Tiorati. You can see the sign right there. I probably mispronounced it. It's probably Tiorati. Okay, I ran into uh, this fellow yesterday and also this morning. He was up early, up at him. He is, his trail name is Bulldog. He's a West Virginian. He can uh, tell you about his travels and, and or his trail name and uh, anything else he wants to tell us. Well, I'll tell you what, coming out here on a trail like it is, it's beautiful. You don't know what it's like till you get out here. And the blueberries are really great too because uh, you got to fight the bear for them, but there seems like there's enough of them that we can share. <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> It's just happy trails. Yeah. Now, you had one injury once. You yeah. got off the trail for a little bit. It was your back and your knee, right? right? Yeah. You're doing... Doing good now. Doing good enough. Doing good enough to keep moving. Okay. We, I, I won't change your trail name to good enough <laughs> because I know you're a bulldog. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Well, just in case there were any questions, the geese are out this morning. Don't think I'd want to be swimming in this lake. So I've got about a 1.3 mile approach here. This is an approach to get to the trail and this is one of the I guess prices that I pay for parking. Parking is not always adjacent to the trail. And of course, as always, I forgot my hiking poles. This isn't the first time. So this is what we do when we forget our hiking poles. This is at least five times. One would think in the habit of never leaving the car without hiking poles, but no. So I pay the price. Extra quarter mile. Never fails. When I say it never fails, my lack of memory never fails. Okay, I uh, just made it to the top of the approach trail is 1.35 miles I guess. There's a shelter. Not sure of the name, it's not marked. Obviously an older one. Wouldn't you know it? Made of natural materials. So now I've got about 9.8 or 9.6 to go. We're going to be going through the lemon squeezer and a couple other little challenges too. Uh, beautiful day. A little got warmer a little quicker than I thought. It's probably 82 or 83 today. So I'm going to take a little break here, stretch for about five minutes. I do some active stretches just kick my legs out back and forth across in front of my body. Uh, nothing that really requires any laying down. So that's it for now. I just have to figure out which way is south here. I did see a white blaze. I just don't want to head north. <laughs> All right. I think I can. So here's how we pick the blueberries. So, uh, first break, 
I'm about two miles into it. Just nine miles to go. Easy trail, no objections. Hi, Mr. Deer. We're on those horns and I see. Hello. What you looking at? Look out for bears. Look out for Yogi. I came 10 feet from this guy. He didn't see me, and I didn't see him. Oh, now he sees me. She knows right where I'm going. Don't you? She knows I'm out of here. So uh, I've hiked about six miles. And this morning, I started here. I took my introductory shot here at Lake Tiorati. I'm back. And I'm taking a swim. It's 85, and I've got four and a half, maybe five miles to go. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I just met Pam here, and Pam is a Northwest Ohio woman. Yes, I am. <laughs> she just shared with me the fact that she has only eight kids. I thought I was in a big family, but she has eight children. Beautiful. And she grew up uh, in the Bowling Green area. And her little one is Rachel. Rachel, say hi. Can you no. say hello to the camera? You don't want to. No, nope, okay. you don't want to. <laughs> okay. She's getting tired. So. You're going to swim. Yeah, I'm going to swim. So you might want to just get somewhere. I'm going to swim along uh, along the uh, rail. Okay, that's pretty the, shallow there. Along the, uh, past those guys. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I just enlisted Pam here to take a little video of me. Because if it's not captured on video... It's gone forever. So. Are you saying we're old and we don't have memories anymore? <laughs> okay. So this is Lake Tiarati Beach. It's no problem. And it is a very popular summer swimming place. The locals really like it. Um... One of the popular things about it is they uh, don't let buses come here. So it keeps the number of people that are swimming here down. And uh, it's also nice because they have a lap lane that's clear out there. And uh, the little kids can't splash you while you're swimming in the lap lane. And there's Bob. And there he's laughing. And the sun is on this so I can't see. What, honey? You can pick the flowers. Nobody minds if you pick the flowers. So I'm gonna walk. Oh, my God. 
You may take that one. Oh, well, you're on the other side. Thank you. Not a problem. Oh, that's perfect. Feel good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always thought I would do one of these, but didn't know where I was. Well, now you know. So, how long have you lived in this neighborhood? How long have you lived here? It'll be 13 years in October. Uh huh. I'm right here. You can walk over here. here. My feet are the most tender things on the face of the earth. Is that because you hike or just because they always are? They always were. Mine are too. Yeah. I mean, thank you very, very much. Not a problem. So, and we found flowers over there. Didn't you? Quick little swim. Rachel, thanks for uh, helping out your mom here. <laughs> okay, now we promised your brothers we'd go see their waterfall. Okay. This sand was a little hot. Yeah, I, w I need to see this moat. Okay. And here's a big, huge rock. Look, it's kind of like Texas. Okay. Gotcha. This yeah. much thick, so it goes over there, like that. Okay, let's see how it works. So okay. here we go. Okay, okay. you're doing it? What do you want to do? Jonathan, jump. Oh, so we're going to do all the... No, nah, let's just, just do it. You got enough water. Well, there's more to this thing. Oh, right here. Okay. Wow. Here it comes. Wow. So who's winning? Erosion or? There it goes. And it does. It's not eroding. No erosion. Perfect river. Perfect. You can see it. Yeah, it's, it's taken away the um, sand of Taco Stones. You guys want one Beautiful. Sure, do it. Sure do. And down she goes. You got it. That's a Very great cool. deal. Good deal. And show the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, sure enough, I was lost. I turned around and I looked and I saw that blaze. I went a quarter mile too far. So the blaze is right behind me. And oh, there's this. Dog on it, and I stepped over it. So there was no double blaze, which there should have been a double blaze, because that is the trail right ahead. Now that's better, isn't it? In trail speak, those branches across the trail mean, do not go here. Look to your right. Signs. Katahdin, 793, Springer Mountain, 1365. Well, I know Springer is really more like 1385 plus. But the big thing here is, it hasn't changed, is the Lemon Squeezer 0.6. Okay, so this is the second day I've run across these young ladies. Uh, they are sisters. Oh, they're twins. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know their trail names, so they can mention that, and uh, they could take turns telling us whatever they'd like about the trail, either why they started or what they think of it. They're do they are doing a flip-flop. So, uh, we are Yeah, they're making real good progress. Thank you. So I'm August Rush, and I'm Moose Tracks. Okay. In so August, we what? We started in June. We started June, started June 11th in Daleville, Virginia, and we're going all the way to Maine, and then we're going to flip back to Daleville, and then finish in 
Georgia. Yeah, probably about December or so. Yep. Early December, yeah. with any luck. We're yeah. We're trying for November, but it'll probably be December. Probably December. Well, we graduated yeah. high school June 3rd, and we thought that the Appalachian Trail would be the best thing to... Super, yeah. If it's any, yeah, I skipped my last year of college and went to Europe for a year. Oh, half a year. I'm sorry, yeah, half a year. That's awesome. Yeah, that's what people did back in the 70s. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Well, moose tracks. Moose tracks yeah. in August. August rush. August rush. Okay, that's great. Just finishing high school. This yeah, is the. Yeah. This is the time to do it. Yeah. Okay. Good. We'll probably see you tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Take I'll care of each other. Thanks. Well, I'll see you. I think okay. you can. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think I can. All right. Okay. We'll see you. Yeah, no problem. Well, I'll try this. I think I'm going to throw these up, though. Yeah. Oh, don't go back down. Holy cow. You're like a billy goat. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. I would say damn good. There you go. Okay. What's your trail name? I'm Scout. Scout. I think this is the tightest part, right? Right here. I think it's coming up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you from, Scout? Uh, I'm from Boston. How about you? Yeah, I live in Florida. Okay. I should have just thrown these poles ahead, right? <laughs> yeah. There's one. Dang, just get in the way. I might regret that, but I don't think so. No, I think you'll be good without them. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you approaching, I, and then it became apparent to me. I said, holy cow. <laughs> You could do this darn thing and potentially avoid it. Right. Okay. I'll bring it all the way to the end if you okay. want. Okay. Yeah. Don't trip under the poles. Yeah. When did you start? <laughs> March 4th. Coming up on five months. Oh, okay. Might be easier to come back for those at the end, but I don't know if they're in your yeah. way, stepping wise. Look at that, I stepped on them and they tilted up for me. <laughs> How's that for luck? I couldn't have planned that one any better. Trail provides. Safe and sound. Uh, All right. Yeah. Good job. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Little girl hasn't seen me yet. Now she sees me. She may take off. <laughs>